Always a favorite. Looking to see if they can get that early win, but Mel just is expecting it. And knowing that the snake bites, uh, well, one at least has been gone. There's the last one. They are going to be hitting this B site, knowing that the utility game should favor them somewhat. And we will see Jazzykins getting the plant. But this fight around Elbow is huge. There goes the flash. It's dodged there. Good stuff coming through from TSM. But you got to connect the shots on top of that. And that will be Cloud9 connecting all of theirs, leaving just Athena coming through spawn with not too much to work with. The ghost is in hand. This will be a tough one, though. And I. I'm in definitely enjoying the setup from C9. Not really putting anything to chance. All three players just playing together. Making it as hard as possible for Athena. I guess a tap to force Ooh. a player up. That's a great shot there onto Jazzy. But again, time is of the essence. And there's been a look behind Athena. And there it is. Annie Dro is going to be the one to finish it off. Well, the utility. And that's different to anybody else on the team. They're just all fantastic. And here comes that showstopper opening up the rounds. What? I don't know how that did not get the kill. But it doesn't seem to matter. Jazzy will be able to finish off the Panda anyway. And... It's this fight now over the long position. Uh, it's good move coming through from TSM. Giving up the side, oh. trying to fight for this long control. There goes the flash. Have to follow it up, though. And actually, Kath will follow it up. Mel goes down and it's actually looking quite difficult here now for C9Y. Trying to hold on to the site. And meanwhile, Zoe's managed to creep through spawn. And Katsumi on the off Dan. angle. Beautiful. There's the upgrade coming through as well. Now just down to Kath. This is such a difficult situation for her. She can't know for certain that they're going to this A site, but she's chosen correctly. And there it is. The swing in. Yeah, the, the plan is going to be difficult to deal with. It, I mean, there is a Trailblazer available as well that could be... Well, I mean, it's so difficult when you're by yourself. You can't really afford to get locked away in that. And they're doubling up against Kath here. There goes the swing! Oh, Kath, oh! that's the perfect timing! And that's going to be the defuse. I commit all of the way. Emily stuck there in the cubby and will get taken down eventually. Taking so much damage just from utility alone. It's so hard to hold a sight against these set pieces coming through from Cloud9 White. And now the push... Coming through to Elbow as the spike's getting planted. It will be a good defense, though, from TSM. That's going to give them a lot of value here into this retake by holding on to this position. Yeah, huge. Kath using that regrowth gets Leah back to 100. And they're going to force T9 to go back to A. But look where Mel has lurked. Oh, my goodness. It's almost impossible that she doesn't get a frag here. Oh, God. The snake bite as well to just slow things down and... This Viper utility is so painful. It doesn't really feel like this. It doesn't feel like there's anything that's possible at this point. With Mel up there, just as you said, that rotation, that lurk is just. It just gave them such a strong option. I mean, I guess in fact it was the checkmate. It wasn't even a strong option. It was just the the win. Yeah, I mean, once she was in spawn like that, lurked on that heaven wall. There was just no world where C9 doesn't get a heavy advantage in this round. It, her getting a triple kill though that was a bit bit much bit more than i thought she would get again cloud nine white really making everything safe avoiding some of those troublesome plays early on the showstopper looking to get the clearance here and it's going to find it takes down kath u-haul control now with c9 white they will also decide to invest the viper's pit here to get that spike planted and tsm are definitely in a very difficult position so he's trying to take the 1v1 against athena and it's going to be a, t a tough situation. You don't want to be entertained by this jewel forever. You, you have to combine with your teammate. Zoe is there. Yeah, Alexis is doing such a good job of staying alive in the shower's position. Now Annie finds herself. That's like that's going to be a good shock dart. Uh oh, uh oh. This is looking problematic now here for Annie. Dro. She's going to have to go for the wide swing. Oh, great stuff there from Zoe. And no, this is just fantastic work again from C9 White, but still TSM managing to take the advantage. Great peek from Kat. Oh, does Zoe go through this, Dan? Oh, that was that was scary. I I know I have well, I have some intel that usually Cloud9 White, more times than not, will not try to actually just push through these Viper pits. Yeah, they That's would something almost I have to about. use a trailblazer or the guiding light. They only have two of the 
the sky flash has left and sky is going showers so they are like you said avoiding this viper's pit but they are coming into the a site and they have a one way waiting for them this is going to be a, such a difficult site take yeah, we get the Seekers actually played counter to C9Y there. So they've got 20 seconds left. Time is a very big problem right now for C9Y. And I suppose even more of an issue here is getting through the Shower's choke point. Looking very difficult. Leia Panda just left. using that Hunter's Fury to delay things even more. Mel is a desperate plot now. Has to stick it. There's no choice. In fact, well, there's the swing. There's just nothing left to do. Great round from T in the smoke there. And well, TSM, I mean... Athena's all... Athena ult... Oh... The elbow push, Dan. Oh, but the one for one, that's not so bad. That is not so bad. The spike will meanwhile be planted. And we will have the swings coming through at the elbow position there as TSM assigned to gain some ground and space. And it's looking very difficult for Alexis and Annie Dro at this point. Both suck playing this 2v3 from the garden position. Trying to creep forward here. That Astrosaur is going to force the engagements. My stream is frozen, Sean. You'll have, to <laughs> you'll have to take over Emily's this one for me. Emily's hopping through the long, long post. I think that's fake defusing, though. This, yeah, this round's over, Dan. We're about to see, you know, 5-4 scoreline for C9. They stabilize right there. I couldn't believe it. I it's a push coming in through straight away on the defense here. Kath is just, whoa! Oh. Kath is just walking through the flick. There is so good on Tamel. Very surprising timing. They did not expect that. And Emily here, just elevated with the operator, definitely is could also surprise C9 White. They've been very good at not walking into those angles, but still, they're in a 4 versus 5 now, and they've got to reset the situation. Yeah, the Emily Kath duo pushing through. We saw it long B early, and now we see it short A. I love it. They have such good teamwork together. I've got your trail. Well, the cabbages are out, Dan. Yeah, the Seekers are put to use, but Emily, with that position, we talked about it. Looking really strong. Oh. The trade, though, with the Showstopper is beautiful. Athena, though, will be taking the fight forward now, operating from triple, dropping out of that heaven position, looking to keep the pressure on. They can't pop the spike. Noah is safe because of Athena's maneuvers there. And now that leaves Annie Dro in a one versus four with 30 seconds to go. It's not an easy situation. Everything is known. They know that she's playing by the cubby and by pocket. And that's going to be a wrap. TSM, four rounds now against Cloud9. But still, TSM do have players in position to try to defend this. Zoe, brave, once again, looking to make the difference in the Viper's Pit. Great stuff there from Zoe. Massive kill. Athena chimes in to takes down Alexis. So much pressure right now on this A site. Leia Panda in the one versus two. The spike still needs to be planted. So Leia Panda with the rotation finds one. Ooh. Jazzy goes down. Leia looking for the second. Oh, oh. shocked that straight to the face. And Annie Dro will lock it in there. It's good to see for TSM's sake. Oh, God, Dan. They're playing Hookah versus the Showstopper again. Jazzy will take down one. There's the whiff, though, from Emily. Has to fall back with this one, but the pursuit is in. The satchel jumps will mean that Jazzy won't be denied those forward engagements. There's a miss flick from Emily. It's a very good look here coming in from Cloud9 White. They'll take the site and the cosmic device there as well to make life a little bit more troublesome. Oh! Yeah, this this is this is nice. I like this cosmic divide. This is creating some opportunities. C9 oh. forced to go forward. The shock darts again. This time from Leia Panda. It is the sober dip after all. Leia Panda is absolutely rocking Cloud Nine White, and Athena will finish it off. And that's just so for that short plant behind the toxic screen. But Mel is close with the classic. Zoe's gonna Ooh. have a good lurk, Dan. With her wall, she's gonna have a really good lurk right now. Great she's opening out. though from Emily. And indeed, it's, it's, that's going to be the the control that they're looking for. They will find the spike plant. It's a long flank coming through from Mel. And it's going to be looked for by Kath. That's going to be a big 1v1. Kath actually has assistance. Leia Panda is right there as well with them. They know that Mel's in this position looking for that flank. The snake bite also denies Mel to push forward too. So TSN can put all their attention on the front of the site. That's where the attack is. Great flick from Zoe. And they are cleaning things up here against Cloud9's retake attempt. There's not a lot left here. Mel and Jazzy are both very weak. But still, Mel finds the headshot. The snake bite goes down to buy more time. Zoe has another snake bite. And it's oh. not even now. Necessary, the clutch from Zoe. TSM are keeping things slow to begin with. They do have basically all players 
toward the A side of the map though. So looks like they want to head up a fast push onto the A side. At the same time, we just had a blinding light in a uh, down B long. So you can see the rotation comes through from C9. They know what's going on because of the info on B. And now the pressure's on. TSM have to react to three players in the TP. And Mel swings through showers at the same time. The crunch here coming up from Cloud9 is looking really good. Forcing a desperation rotation with that spike onto the B site. And it's going to be Kath with 55 points of health against an entire team by herself. I don't know about this one. Going aggressive with the Spectre. I mean, you, you've got to try to do something crazy and counter it elsewhere. Looks like they're going to go for the Seekers through a short. The dash comes through from Emily, trying to get him ground there, but great pickup from Jazzy to stop Emily taking control of U-Haul. Athena, though, able to take down Katsumi, and that's a good trade, which will allow more control here. But Alexis working triple, trying to find a timing here on an engagement. Trailblazer comes out. Jazzy through U-Haul. And suddenly, there's no space to plant this spike. There's no players left to gain ground once more. Yeah, and both players are so separated. I don't know how Zoe and Kath find their way back into this round. So Zoe just farming the orb. They would have to go into the Viper's Pit at Long B, which might be possible with the Trailblazer on Kath. That's their only hope. But I think they might just wait things out and retest this A site. 30 seconds left. Doing cool. some damage, getting some kills would be definitely a good consolation prize. Flash comes through. Jazzy's gonna get pressured, just playing the angles really well, isolating both players. The ace, in fact, from Jazzy. But Zoe on the alert could be a thorn in the side here for C9. Yeah, that's gonna be a key catch. Zoe will actually, I think, find. Nope. Zoe's going to get... I think Zoe just got... Received the nastiest flick ever, I think. Judging by the minimap. But TSM still looking to get this control on the B site. Nice push from Emily. That's what you love to see from your duelist. Just taking initiative. You've got to find those 1v1s sometimes. Just pushing through the Cosmic Divide. But Annie Dro is ready for it. A quick switch up through the TP into the A hit. And this might work out for TSM. It's a 2 versus 3. But if they can get that spike planted and reset quickly afterwards, they might be alright here. Emily, one kill away from resetting the dash. But Emily's going to go down and never mind. The showstop is brought out to just guarantee up into so many players. Cloud9 have such a big defense. Oh, oh, oh no! Oh, oh. The headshots are raining through now for TSM. They'll take control of Garden. Katsumi's in the site, looking to buy time for the team here. She might go down. She has managed to subvert enemy lines, takes down Zoe, and is still causing no. damage off of the reposition. Katsumi is creating massive chances now. Oh, this is just absolutely disgusting. On for the ace. And of course, Katsumi locks in the ace. That did not look winnable. The Katsumi turns. Because now from Cloud9, they are making a lot of moves here. And the trade comes through from Alexis. But you might favor the attackers here. We get Kath actually launching her Seekers from Showers as well. Guiding Light comes through. Annie Dro with a nice punish. With that, Hunter's Fury. That's the 3v4 for the TSM. They're looking like they're in trouble at this point, but there's still lots of time on the clock. That's wild, Dan. The, the, the Sova ulted from, like, attacker territory right there to save <laughs> to save her teammate. That is such a heads-up play from Annie Dro to keep C9 ahead in this round. Holy cow. Enemy down. Now that's a big kill to get. Yeah, that was a big 1v1. Yeah, now we're in a 4 on 2. This is definitely going to be a B hit, and C9's looking to play for the retake. They're going to allow this plant to go down. TSM might be able to weasel their way into some weird corner. Ooh, are they going to walk all the way through to A, Sean? If they are, I am loving that. Yeah, that's a that would be a pretty bold play. I would be pretty scared that someone would be holding CT spawn, if that were the case. You can see they're going to give up the plant. I don't know how they win this without getting an opening kill. So yeah, they're going to push, push for something, spawn. right? Yeah, they have to push for something. They Oh, wow. they hear the TP and then they... Oh, no. 
Of course, there is one lurk coming through his mail from that spawn position, and they've both turned their backs from spawn completely, making the assumption that everybody's coming through Hooker at this point, and Mel's going to be just completely set up to lock this one down. Emily does get the trade, though, but again, this is going to require a lot of work here from Emily. There goes the Cloudburst to try to deny the ping, but there was a ping, and there's the follow-up through the wall from Annie. It's Kath here. I was waiting for that smoke to dissipate. Kasumi, this off angle is very dangerous. Great execution there from Kasumi. Trade through, though, and Alexis now in trouble. Has to take the fight. Can't fall out of this position. Wins the first battle. Flash goes out. Oh. My goodness. Alexis really playing on the edge there, but making it look beautiful. And it is still a 2v2 here, but the main issue is that TSM have lost, lost the spike on that long position. You can see Athena trying to work some Astro Stars there to try to gain some space by dropping the vision for her opponents. And Zoe is also now going to rejoin her teammates in this hookah spot. So much silence. Oh, Lots Mel, of time. Mel is in such an insane off angle for this scenario. But she's moving forward. She's going to regroup with her teammate. Left. How do these two get out of hookah? So he's going around. Athena's going to wait for that. One enemy remaining. And there we go. Mel finds the peek onto Athena. And Zoe now has no time. Has to just rush this one at this point. And just hope for the best. Alexis will take her down. One, again, a map that they, they surely must win. The remaining maps are extremely good for TSM. Yeah, this is... This Are they able to play a retake setup? How do they get you past this fight gun? She's just going to molly the second this goes up. There's one Cosmic oh. Divide. Beautiful from Mel. Holding down this U-Haul position. Making it look really good right now. Cloud9 Y are just so, so strong. And there's only two left now. Kath and Athena trying to work their position. They do have some control. And we have a breather. Just a moment to relax as both teams reposition. Kath and Athena making their way through U-Haul at this point. There's the first swing. And he drove goes down, but Athena's now very weak. There's the heal that the regrowth comes into play. Two versus three. But the time is a really big problem here. They have to go for the plant. There goes Jazzy with the <gasps> swing. Athena meets it with that Vandal. And now there are really big problems here for Cloud9 White. The spike has been planted successfully. TSM were looking so desperate. But now there's such a strong chance for them here. There goes the Guiding Light as Kath pulls out her own. There's the flash. The peaks come through. Katsumi wins the first battle. It's up to Kath now. She's trying to isolate these fights. But Alexis and Katsumi are denying her. They have to get off though to try to get that spike diffused. And Alexis... Oh, you want to get the blaze on out of here? SAP. And Katsubi with that elevated position will get taken down. Nice double swing coming through. Emily able to get the punish there on that early aggression. And TSM are going to start this one off quite nicely. Ooh, it's very important that they keep this 5 on 3 throughout the plant. And it's getting kind of close, honestly, right now. And yeah, that shock dog was very close. Ooh, another shock dog coming through. And <laughs> there we go. Annie finally able to get some money with that one. Ooh, oh, the double from Kath. I was wondering if it was going to happen. That's such a great answer. Well, I mean, you can't really do much against that. Alexis in the one versus four with the classic. Would probably want to save the wall at this point. So valuable. 400 credits. Able to isolate Kath and... Now it's a one versus three, so one at a time. Don't want to be giving her those isolated fights, and Emily's going to be peaking this consistently. There is a wall coming up from Kath, though, for the punish. Annie Dro is, has outstayed her welcome. And TSM go five against four, and they've got a minute to play with. Yeah, very good lurk right there from Kath. Uses the info from Emily to get all the way up tube, and now they're going to go back into this A site. Look where Athena has lurked. It's over, Dan. That, yeah, that's, there's not much you can do after that pick. I mean, they're so out of position as well. Oh, you couldn't ask for a better response. Go like, Based on what happened in the previous round where everybody dies. Oh, they're working on that flawless here. Oh, and they might just get it. Just Mel left. 
Mel, Mel can still get some value here. Two kills away from the lockdown. Never mind. There's the ball that's wow. coming through the wall. I think if TSM wants to win this round, they might have to play really, really aggressive. They could try to slow this down as well. They have Zoe kind of possibly able to lurk through the way. She's just holding for the actual the rotation. There's the showstopper from Kat, though, to try to gain some more ground, clear out these close positions. And, man, she can't find anything off of the showstopper. Alexis, meanwhile, finds the perfect opening. Leah Panda, the last player standing. Ooh, still looking like very desperate indeed. Cloud9, we're not happy with that shot. See a little jiggle of the crosshair there. So that's actually quite a lucky situation for TSM. Still be five players. Kath. Uh-oh. Oh, Alexis just goes for it. Oh, Ooh. man. Alexis is hitting everything here. There's one more player around yellow. I don't think Alexis knows about this, so the trade could come through. There we go. <laughs> just lurking onto that position. Meanwhile, Katsumi takes one down towards A, and it's all falling apart here now for TSM. <laughs> Jesus. Athena lurking again by the A site. Katsumi knows not to rotate. They've fallen for it before, but Leah takes out Alexa. She's been in these aggro positions all game. Fantastic work there from Katsumi once again. 50 seconds to go. Spike will be collected. It's regrouping now around this play from Zoe in that A site. And they have to try to avoid getting, you know, picked. Oh, that's... Oh, it looked like it was going to be perfect, but Annie is just covering. Man. Annie is on one right now. And oh. there's the Viper's Pit. Two versus three. There's definitely a chance with this. That's Pond a goes very behind that Viper's impressive pit. Viper's Pit. I mean, they'll likely retake through Heaven. What is the play? I oh, love that, but this is looking problematic now. The Viper's Pit goes down and there's no more smoke blocking the vision, making an easy frag for Mel. But loving this, we'll see what it finds. So Kath leading the way, Mel is using the turret as bait there. Oh, Kath is quick to the frag though, despite that bait setup, doesn't matter. Four versus four now as we can see C9 kind of giving up the B side there, but it's actually going to be a push all the way through spawn into the back of A. This is fantastic stuff here from TSM. That said, 3v3, Alexis has the res and will be able to pick up a player, most likely here, as the spike goes down. Oh. I don't know if Emily saw a cat drop off that ladder. This is so this is so difficult. The Viper's pit in the sight from the defender there from Katsumi. TSM really feeling this one is so nervous, but oh. still doesn't matter. Zoe taking down two from spawn. Great work. Now down to Katsumi and Jazzy. Katsumi finally announcing her position. Jazzy chiming in as well. Kath in the one versus two has to win these battles. There comes the tap. Kath! Great flick comes through to finish that one off. There goes to Paige Shells to right click. Will it be enough? They're switching out to the pistol. Is there time here for Jazzy? Trying to find this spike. Where is it? Finds it at the backside. I don't know if there's time for this one. Jazzy's going to stick it. And there we go. It is done. Going to be possibly a, a very defining round in this one as well, as we can see. You know, ooh, I was going to say the situation. They lost their viper wall, Dan. They lost the viper wall at B. That's that's a horrendous start to a set piece or to a side attack. The wife, uh, the sage wall will come up. Ah, this gets really awkward now. It's become so difficult to plant. Okay, the showstopper to create some space. That gets sent forwards. We'll find Jassy can the trade there from Leah Panda onto Mel as well. Evens up the numbers. So it's looking a lot better now at this point. But Katsumi lying in wait here in the upper corridor. Wow. He usually finds great timings, but there's that dirty wall from Alexis. Finding that headshot position. This is just so back and forth right now between these two fighting over this position. TSM now 40 seconds to plant the spike. It's down in no man's land though. Nanny knows it. Oh, that's a big defense. Alexis and Nanny Drow coming to life right now, but it's the 1v1. Once again, the pain shells look to make the difference, forcing the fire. This classic has to come through, and Annie being the player to try and take control on mid, keeping the pressure up there. Jazzy Kins, the opposing jet is reliably keeping control of B long. That's been 
quite reliable indeed for Jazzy Gins. Meanwhile, once again, we're going to see Kath up the tube trying to claim some space. Usually, you know, finding Mel in this position, sometimes Annie, Annie will be forced back, but doesn't die, which is, of course, the most important part. It's okay to give up the position. And he's actually looking for a repeat here. He's going to catch Kath. That's very unfortunate for TSM, but they are trading back the frags quite nicely here. They've got a lot of openings, but still, Jazzykins here on B-Long. If Jazzykins can pick up this kill, that could make the difference. Athena is holding the spike. Athena cannot give up this kill here. That would be so wow. disastrous. Oh, and Jazzykins knows it. One HP <gasps> gets the frag. Updraft comes through with off of the blade storm, and Jazzy is still causing problems here. Katsumi plays off of the distraction. Now Emily's attention is split between these two locations. One AC flicks required to deal with these fights. There goes the 180 oh. and the flying right click from Jazzy Kins. Keep pushing this issue on this A site. Oh, what Jazzy. a find. Oh, the dodge and the boom bot as well. It's Cloud9 can do no wrong in this position. TSM need a lot now to bring it back. Two versus four, just a slight dodge of that shock dart to try and find some life in this round. Athena's going to have to... I mean, they need to find the paddles here. I, I mean... You don't win with this backside setup, Dan. I don't, you don't win. I, Three people just chilling behind the sage wall. I, they'll never, yeah. ever expect this. This is such an insane setup. Oh, it's got a turret as well to just be the meat shield. And just like you said, it's uh, it's not happening there for TSM. And this, this toxic screen for the retake is actually very scary. Wow. They, they bled out all of the util though. Zoe kept her- Oh my god! <laughs> just, and he just took Athena's head off with that marshal. That was crazy. Are they gonna go back and to now? Mel here? This is a big fight in mid. Yeah, oh, Mel's gonna just barely come away with that one. Trade their last win for TSM. I'm gonna get the nano swarms placed around the spike and the fallback towards the raft, towards belt here. and the attacker nest Zoe is in such an important position here oh, it really to has to come up yeah it's it's really hard to envision a world where she doesn't get one right Dan and oh, oh Emily is that world. is so nice that is satisfying to see great transfer there they are in such a good spot here to just keep this Momentum going from this push. Jazzy with the cloud burst, creating so much space. I love the movement here as well. Maintaining that elevated position. That said, Mel goes down on the flank. That's a great pickup as well. And that's going to actually mean now that we'll have a fairly spread out defense. We've got that double set up behind the wall like you were talking about before, Sean. But TSM... I wonder if they've learned their lessons about this setup. So he catches Annie Drobe pulling out the knife and it's just falling apart right now for C9. There is still a chance. Alexis with the timing oh. wrapping around the back. There's a second for the follow-up. It's all on cap now at this point. Tiny, tiny gap. But oh, the snake bites are just perfect. Oh, the tap comes through though. That might actually give an opportunity. Ka Kath playing this so well. There needs to be one more frag. Kath oh. goes to meet Katsumi. And we'll get C9 falling back to that A site. And we've got Athena in a pretty deep spot there. We'll have to fall back. Flick is good here from Emily. Fantastic start for TSM. Yeah, no res. So that's a clean five on four. Finally working in the favor of TSM. So what do they do? What do, do they... C9 do? Yeah. yeah, do they go into this <laughs> Viper's Pit? Or do they go into the op? No, they're going to opt to go through mid. Whoa! Oh, the game sense from Kath! Just as you said it, Sean, and I don't just, I mean, it's not a conscious thought for Kath. There's just a feeling, right? There's just a feeling. And that, that feeling, my oh my, is it good? Yeah, it's just... Area. This is going to be a tough one here for C9 to hold on to. They'll lose Mel on the plan, and there's no Hunter's Fury for Annie Dro. Jazzy Kins and Annie Dro are going to just have to hit some crazy shots at this point. There's so many bodies in front of this spike. Emily's waiting for it though. Oh, the whiff comes oh, through. No. This is dangerous now. And Jazzy is in the action. Annie now opened up to get a frag. The, the lurk comes through, and this is looking way too close for TSM. Jazzy looking for the clutch here. One versus two. Buying time. The spray comes through. Ooh. Emily on their lurk. We have very fast movement coming through from Cloud9, though. You've got the wall going up straight away. Oh. Annie Drodo picks up a double in the back. 
Might not expect Zoe there as well, so there could still be a chance here. As we do get the drone going through to try to find the tag on the Viper inside the pit. And indeed, Zoe, with that look, Annie Drew did not expect a third player on the flank. And this could now be alive this round for TSM. But Emily's in such a difficult spot with the Operator. It feels so awkward to have an Operator in your hands when you're up against the Viper's pit like this. Oh, Zoe with the spam. There's only so many places that they can stand inside the Viper's pit right now. In comes the Util. Jazzy's waiting inside, able to take down one. Two left now. Make it just one with Zoe and caught with... Nine had the one-way Viper smoke on the ledge to deny all those lines. And Emily almost caught a good time. An easy rotation for everybody else. Oh, that's a fantastic pick coming through from Emily. Taking down Kasumi, the Viper gone now for the attacking side of cloud nine that's a great advantage early here for tsm Whoa. big luck kill from mel that was such a big moment the operator from emily though almost catching it but that's going to mean that uh, that now mel can lurk back b but still there's a viper's pit so i don't yes. think that her teammates want to go through Let's to see, b yet athena's trying to get this res off and i think mel isn't close enough to stop it Oh dear, look at this lurk. This is this is a perfect lurk. Oh we, how could you ever expect Mel to be there? The <gasps> jumping classic coming through now. The harassment from Mel is it's just so annoying and impressive. The levels of threat from her just in spawn, buying time, wasting these players. And she just has to live. And she's done her job at this point. And this is it. It's got to be this blaze storm from Emily and Zoe's luck here through 410. This has to come up to something now. Zoe against four players. It's looking very difficult indeed. Finds the back of one. Alexis goes down. They know where Zoe is at this point. And it's playing into hell.